still on the Niger coup, Mandi and Burkina Faso dispatch warplanes Friday to Niger in a show of solidarity against possible military intervention by the economic community of West African states ECOWAS. A report aired on Niger State Television highlighted joint efforts by Mandi and Burkina Faso in support of Niger and the deployment of warplanes within Niger's borders. Mandi and Burkina Faso turned their commitments into concrete action by deploying warplanes to respond to any attack on Niger. It said nothing the planes were super to canoe fighter jets. During a meeting on Friday of the ECOWAS chief of staff in Ghana, the date of the impending military intervention in Niger was not disclosed, but the bloc declared that its military forces were ready to intervene as soon as orders were given. Burkina Faso and Mandi, both under military leadership, previously released a statement of support for Niger against the planned ECOWAS military operation to alter the course of the coup in Niger. It warned that any intervention would be seen as a declaration of war against Burkina Faso and Mandi. General Abdurrahame Tichani, the former commander of Niger's presidential guard, declared himself the head of the transitional government last month after President Mohamed Bazou was ousted in a military coup. As a show of their commitment to stand with the Niger military junta, in case of a military intervention by ECOWAS over the military takeover, Mali and Burkina Faso deployed their first batch of combat aircrafts to Niger in the late afternoon of August 19, 2023. The deployment was their way of helping Niger arm itself and prepare to respond to any form of aggression from the West African bloc, and it came just moments before ECOWAS defense chiefs concluding their summit in Accra, Ghana, in which they agreed on an undisclosed D-Day for invading Niger, as they assured their heads that, that they are ready to storm Niger any time the order is given. While deploying the aircrafts, the Malian and Burkinabe militaries released a joint statement as a show of the close ties that their countries have, ties that Ibrahim Traoré and Mali's Asimi Goita previously said might lead to unification of the two countries. Have a look at those warplanes that were